Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at this. It's from Lexar, it's the NS100 2.5 inch solid state drive. It says on the box that it's got a read speed of up to 520 megabytes per second, but on the website it states it's got a 550 megabytes read speed. So we're going to find out which it is. Okay, let's have a look at the box. It says on the front, it's a Lexar, it's an NS100, which is a two and a half inch serial ATA, six gigabits per second SSD, which is obviously a solid state drive. It's got a sticker on here for 512 gigabytes. They've probably done that because they sell four different versions and they're reusing the box for each version. They do a 128 gig version, a 256 gig, a 512 and a 1 terabyte and this is the 512. The maximum read speeds according to the paperwork I've got of the 512 gigabyte and the 1 terabyte is 550 megabytes per second uh, and the 128 gigabyte and the 256 gigabyte says 520 megabytes per second. But on their website uh, and on the box it says it's a maximum of 520 straight so they need to obviously get that 100% correct it's not 100% uh, uh, accurate is probably the best way of putting it you know, whichever one I click on on their website where it be 1 terabyte uh, or 128 gig it says up to 120 megabytes per second read uh, it doesn't mention the write speed uh, which is always concerning when doing a solid state drives. Let's have a quick look at their full specifications list. Yeah, even on their full specifications on the website, it says the maximum read speed is 520 megabytes per second. Doesn't mention write speed. The weight of this is 34 grams. The measurements is a standard um, two and a half inch drive. I'm not going to go into the full measurements of that, but it's a standard two and a half inch drive. So let's have a look at the rest of the box. It's pretty plain. It's white in the front. Shows you the drive. Pretty straightforward. On the side, you've got obviously the information uh, of what it is again. Same on that side. Bottom, nothing on there. On the back, it gives you a few different languages on there of different information as well as barcodes and so forth. But on the back, it definitely does say 520 megabytes per second so we're going to actually test it and find out if that's true or not okay so this is what you've got in the box you've got the manual slash warranty information there uh, only a small section of it is in english uh, but to be honest it doesn't really go that much in depth to be honest there's nothing really uh, what we haven't spoke about already and then you've got the drive itself the drive is plastic uh, it's got sort of, um, or at least the top has sort of a, a rough feel to the plastic, so sort of a texture to it. The bottom is, yeah, the bottom's the same, but you've got a big sticker on it which covers up, which makes it obviously a bit shiny. Um, but on there, it tells you what it is. So Solid State Drive has got these two basically arrows on the ends, uh, and the bottom, as we said, has got all the specifications, or should I say, the, at least the serial numbers on there, uh, get, telling you what it is and what size it is. So there isn't a huge amount of information on there to see and it's got your standard mounting holds, two on each side and then four on the bottom. So it's pretty straightforward. One thing it doesn't mention in the manual or on the box that I can see um, is anything about software. I've had a quick look at the software on the Lexor, Lexor website. Once you go onto their website and go onto the support section and download, there is actually a program called Lexor Datasafe. Uh, for Windows, there's also Alexa SSD Dash and Alexa Optimize Tool. No information about what they do, doesn't say anything on the website or at least in the download section of what these programs do or anything like that, so it's going to be a bit of a guess. There's also something called Data Vault as well, one for Windows, one for Mac, and how to install it and so forth from Quick Start Guides, but there's no real page what tells you what all these different things do so it's basically in most of the cases download and see what it does and we'll have a look at that in a few minutes to see if it's anything what's uh, worth downloading or not we're going to check the speed of this now and see how fast it actually goes if it's actually 520 550 megabytes per second or if it's even anywhere near what they've stated and, and what that write speed is because there is no information from what i can see what says anything about that write speed and i don't like buying products especially solid state drives that don't give me a right speed on them. So down to testing. 
The full description of the machine we have used is in the description, so if you want to read more about that, feel free. But in basics, it's a 9700KF processor, 16GB of memory, GeForce 1060 graphics card. All tests are done using the same machine. We even use exactly the same port on the machine to do all the tests. On top of that, the machine is not connected to the internet, so there is no different variations in the software. So the software is exactly the same version for all the tests. Uh, there's no Windows updates installed. There's no additional software installed on that specific uh, machine. So for the testing machine, everything is identical for every single test we do. Okay, so now down to the actual test. As you can see here, we use Crystal Disk Mark, uh, a retest on this one. You can see that Lexar beats out all the competition and actually gets over the quoted 520 or 550, whichever way you look at it, uh, megabytes per second uh, read speed. Uh, it beats out the Kingston, a Samsung Evo, and even the Maxtel Z1. Uh, next down to the right speeds and it's pretty much the same story yet again. The Lexar somehow manages to beat the rest and comes up with 527 megabits per second right speed which is a bit confusing why they don't actually put that information on the box or the website because it's got one hell of a good right speed which is a little bit confusing why you wouldn't advertise it. Now we used Atto to do the read tests, and basically it's a similar story. The Lexar narrowly beats the Maxator and the Samsung, and greatly beats the Kingston A400. So that's pretty good results again for the Lexar. And again, it come out at 535, so again, it's nearer that 550 megabytes uh, read speed than the 520 they put on the box. Uh, and on Atto write speed, again, the Lexar actually beat all the others in some cases by nearly 50 megabytes per second um, including Maxtor, Samsung and the Kingston so again why they're not putting that on the box god knows because it is one hell of a selling point if it's actually faster than the others on the market on this test we've speeded it up by two times but basically you can see where I'm copy and pasting onto the Lexor drive as well as an Evo 850 from a high speed fire CUDA drive um, and Actually, in reality, the Evo came out a little bit faster on the writing, but on the read speed, the Lexar came out a little bit faster. So, really, if you even it out, they both got roughly the same sort of speed, So, which is pretty good, in all honesty. Okay, so this Lexar NS100 drive is actually pretty fast for a SATA based drive. Uh, why they haven't mentioned the write speed on the box or on the website, no idea. And why the paperwork they sent me said it's 550 megabytes per second, where the box says it's 520 and the website says it's 520, I don't know. Possibly it's a new revision who knows well, there's no mention of that anywhere um, the only lacking thing of this um, drive I can see is the software provided um, which is basically not much at all you've just basically got the one program what they provide which is the SSD dash which again there's no mention on the box or the paperwork about it or even the website unless you go hunting for it and all it really does in all reality is tells you the health status of that drive and that drive only uh, and as well as an option for a secure erase there is no option to update firmware or anything along that lines but with that being said it is a fast drive it beat out a samsung evo 850 it's cheaper than a samsung evo 850 as well and so you're getting more for your money as i said the only downside is probably the software provided but saying that if you just laugh for a pure performance uh serial ata based ssd this is definitely something to have a look at um and we would highly recommend this product